Now let's get into the apparel, the eight figure brand that you are so graciously wearing and slaying right now. Now the brand is a wellness initiative designed to empower others to love themselves wholly. And what I love about the brand, it is not just for women, it is unisex, it is for women and men. And you don't have to just wear it to the gym. You can wear it as your everyday fit. You can also wear it to, to lounge around. Can you- can you just show us, uh, if you don't mind, can you, can we, can we see, cause you're wearing it right now. Can we see a little bit of the outfit? Show you the top because I didn't put the, I just have on the white bottom. I'm like mismatched. No. You, it, it matches the figure, but okay. No. So this is, I love it. And this is also available on the Blair fitness .net. Yes. Okay. yes. So and, figure.com is where, and my site is like, I'm in the rebranding process. Of so course. it's actually on the eight figure site. So all of that, cause the brand now I'm rebranding. So the brand now is the eight figure brand. So when I was a trainer, I was the Blair fitness. So now I just transitioned just to my name to Blair because I am no longer just a trainer. You yeah. know, I have all that other stuff now. So yeah. I've gone back to just the Blair Tate now. <laughs> It's the field, uh, the Blair Fitness. I'm gonna keep that because I've been having that site forever. But yeah. it'll it'll be a connection to Eight Figure because that's my brand. I'm actually uh, like going off of now. So I was gonna ask you, does the Eight Figure like does the number eight represent anything? Is it symbolic of something? Eight Figure. You didn't see it in the reading. You've been doing a whole lot of research. Wait you a second. That part. I, I saw the figure part about the challenges in life, but I was like, well, what does the eight represent? So the eight, so the eight is just a representation of life. You know, you see eight a lot in the Bible. And if you turn it to the side, it's infinity, just meaning like forever loving yourself and accepting oh, cool. Yeah, so the eight has so many meanings. Did I see that part? <laughs> Wait, not eight. <laughs> What's that part? Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. And also you can get your hats too. So men and women, make sure you check it out. The camel represent for the like military. This is oh. our old school ABU, BDU. I you love camouflage. I love camouflage. Now, De Blair, you have been very successful. What? How? How did you deal with the pandemic? Because you have a lot of businesses that faced a lot of financial challenges, and then you had some that had to kind of just change, improve their workflow, and were still able to maintain. How did De Blair Fitness not only go through the pandemic, but personally and professionally? What was what was that whole thing like? Were you able to still? get clients, um, you know, were there any significant changes within the company? So the pandemic was actually not a bad thing for me. The pandemic actually was a way for me. So just keep in mind, we talked about all the things that I had going on. The pandemic made me sit myself down somewhere. And with me sitting down somewhere, I was able to just kind of, first of all, realize like what people were really dealing with, what they needed. And I was able to see a need. You know, people were wanting to work out because with the pandemic, you were in the house. And if you're anything like me, if you're in the house, you want to eat. That's all you want to do is eat, eat, eat. And then you realize at some point, oh my God, this, that, and the other. So that was my way of inserting myself in and offering virtual options for you to still be able to kind of do what you need to do. So a lot of people jumped on board of the program, you know, and what I did because of the pandemic, I offered it at a very, very friendly, friendly fee. I call it an investment. So, you know, they couldn't turn it away. So the pandemic was actually something good for me because I actually was able to still help people that I know needed help and they didn't want to wait to the last minute. And, you know, when outdoors open and now you're like, oh my God, what did I just do? I gained 10, 15 pounds. So it didn't affect me as much. I love it. I love it. Now, in one of your videos, you spoke about growing up about self-care and how it was non-existent because you were always taking care of everyone else. Now that with, with all the businesses you have created and you run your own brand in your own likeness and in your own image, do you still find time to practice self-care for you? I know we spoke about the health-life balance, but is that now a priority as well? Self-care? I self I self-care so hard. And to I give, you give us some tips. <laughs> I do, I do. You just have to be intentional with it because you won't do it. Like, so Tuesdays are my day off. I'll just give y'all my little secrets. So Tuesday is I do nothing. So once I'm off work with the military or whatever the case may be, 
That's the day I don't turn the computer on. I decide whether or not I want to go work out because I typically work out pretty much every day, but I had to just kind of put a stop on it. I never ever watch TV. So to me, watching TV is like a, a, a treat for me, you know? So I, I never get to watch TV. So I, I like going to, to the spa and things like that. So I had to purposely, and I have health issues as well, and I'm getting, you know, older. So I had to get to a point where I was not just constantly going, 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 because I was starting to, to feel the effects of the stress and not getting to sleep. So I make sure I go to bed at a certain time, I get a certain amount of hours of sleep. But like I said before, for any entrepreneur that's going hard, you have to definitely be intentional because if you have just that, that work ethic, that, that hustle mentality, Right. You're going to go until it gets done, until your body just makes you shut down. Yeah. So you have to be very intentional with, hey, this is what I'm going to do today. So every morning I write down, okay, what do I have to do today? What do I need to accomplish? What time do I need to eat? Because have you ever just worked so hard that you wake up, you look up and you be like, I haven't even eaten today because yeah. I'm just busy and I'm moving. So you have to, I set alarms, my alarm go off. Okay, it's time for me to do X, Y, and Z. I had to to do little stuff like that to help me because my mentality is to go. Like I'm always on go, ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And sometimes I can neglect myself if I don't be intentional. So I just said be intentional with it, making sure you prep and plan to have self-care in your resume. Yeah, this, this, I love this interview so far. Now you have a quote and I'm gonna read it. It says, my mission is to empower people when it comes to their health. But now I know you were also working on a book as well. What is next for you? I know there's a pre-launch coming this spring because we, we, we tackle the health side, which is what you're doing, but you also mentioned you're a life coach. So is, that, is there also going to be some reading and things that we can now practice? Um, yes. No, please give us some details. <laughs> what can we expect and what's next for you? Okay, so without telling too much, so the book is basically, it's, it's just my resume, it's my business card. I have so much in store, I have so many experiences, so much that I've seen. The 17 years that I was a trainer, I noticed that people didn't love themselves, they had issues or whatever. So health was, health to me is not only just like being a diabetic or whatever the case may be, that mental health thing is a huge, huge factor. So I wanted to tackle not only making people feel good about themselves, the way they look, but also internally and also just kind of helping you through life. People don't know how to handle life. A lot of people don't know how to handle life. Life is hard and we easily shut down or whatever. We lose something. The tra traumatic things are going to happen. You know, that's, that's just the way it is. But I want to just start doing more speaking engagements. I'm having a women's empowerment in September, so you can look forward to that. So that's um, <laughs> that's gonna be, yeah, the website will be up soon. We're securing the venue. So in March, you'll see all of that come up. So you can expect like the, the book is just basically me now putting myself out there because I've been doing this for a really, really long time, but I've been doing it on a small capacity. So now I'm ready to just almost like retire from the military because this is what I found that is my passion. Yeah. Um, this is what I love to do. So I'm setting myself up to be able to be in a position so God can allow me to just help people because I enjoy that. That is like my passion, you know, helping people get to the next level. I feel good when I, even when I get people out there diabetic medicine, like it's life changing. Even when I have people that say, you know, people taking pictures and posting it on social media that never would have done that, but they are, they're proud of who they have become, you know? That right there, you cannot put a price tag on that. Just how that makes me feel when I'm able to change somebody's life. Yeah. Like, can you imagine that? Your client reviews aren't just women, by the way. There's also men too. So you, yeah. you're, just, you're just blessed. And as the business continues to expand, if you are ready to upgrade your life, they definitely need to check out theblairfitness.net, not only just to register for the six week challenge prep, but also to stay tuned for the workshop that's going down in September for the women's empowerment movement. And then let's not forget the eight figure brand. 
Yes. We, if yes. we want to get some outfits, because I'm looking, I'm like, this is so cute. Okay, yes. I want to look I like this. Some. Girl, you should be wearing it right now. You should be rocking an eight figure right now. I got to get you in some, Christy. Like, I'm just so disappointed. I'm five right and now. nine. I, like, I, I want them leggings. I saw, I already yes. saw, I want, I want them leggings. I want them leggings. <laughs> uh, but the Blair, please uh, drop any more social medias if we want to get in contact with you and also if we want to sign up to upgrade our lives because that's what it really yes, is. So right. Yes, yeah, so I'm just, okay, I just want to say this too. I'm so excited about my book that's going to come out. Like, I really want you guys to be prepared because the pre-launch will be at the end of March yes. and you can just get all kind of information on that. Follow me on my social media at I am Blair. And that links to all my other pages, to the Eight Figure Brand page, my Facebook, my website, like the whole nine yards. I'm just so excited. My whole passion is to just kind of bring awareness, especially to women. I do help men as well, but it's like, especially to women, because I really, really can relate to, to women, but I've changed yeah. men's lives, kids' lives, whatever. So if you are ready to just be on a whole different level, because in our eight week program, we are, a closed niche family and it goes down like we it goes down in there so we really really come out being i learn something new every day every time i do my eight week program i mean my six week program the eight bigger body yeah. i end up being a better person because not only am i learning i mean teaching them but they are teaching me as well yeah. so much just like that situation with that with that one person i grew from that Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That that made me grow. So using I just yeah. Right. yeah. That's that's what that's see I said client reviews, it's really client testimonials because just just everything that you're saying just you're expanding and you're growing and it's just like yeah. it really is yeah. becoming a the Blair fitness movement. So yeah. I'm just First and foremost, thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. Now we will now be adding author to that introduction. So I can't. <laughs> you. So weird. I, can't. I was like, I wrote that down for the first time the other day because I was like, I gotta start saying this. And I put author and I was like, okay, because I'm so humbled. I was like, let me just put future oh. author because I haven't like, you know, we're in editing. Yeah, I was like, let me just put future author. But even that, I was like, is this real? Like, I had no idea I would ever do that. I didn't plan any of this. I didn't plan to be a life coach. I didn't plan to be a fitness person. I didn't plan to be an author. And I'm like, God, what are you doing with me? <laughs> Going off. That's what he's doing. He's doing his show off. <laughs> So, DeBlair, I want to thank you for your time. I am your girl, Christy Speaks, and this is the beautiful DeBlair. Make sure you check out all of the social medias. They will be down low. And DeBlair, thank you so much. 